It's nothing but a steady incline. I gotta catch my breath here. I'm doing good though. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. We're golden. We're golden. Look at this view. We're golden. Jay's with me. We're gonna head up to Manassa with base camp, 4,900 meters, and we're doing about a 1,500, over 1,500 meter elevation gain today. It's supposed to take four hours or so. I can only imagine it's gonna be mostly steep on the way up, if that's the case, but we're ready to go. Feeling good, it's a beautiful day. Manassa is just right there. Home is just right there. BJ is just right here. The boys are ready to go. Look at this view though. Pretty epic, right? A lot of switchbacks behind me. And there's more switchbacks to go over this hill. And then what, is it, it's flat and then up? Yes. And then it's gonna be a flat for a good portion of it. Not a good portion, maybe for a little bit. And then it's gonna be another steady incline to go over that hill. And then down, I think, to Manaslu Basin. <laughs> Switchbacks, man. It's just a never ending. It's a never ending hill. It's like when you turn a corner, you think you're there. Psych. I'm just taking baby steps at this point. The views, though. So one of the ways I've been staying hydrated here throughout this four week trek is through this. Grail is a company that produces water bottles that has built in water filters. And it's fairly cool because you don't wanna to have to keep buying water bottles here up on mountains because one, it's very expensive. And then two, it's also not good for the environment. So I've been using this quite a bit and basically just fill up the water and then there's a line here where you're supposed to fill it in to or at. And then there's a built-in water filter system here. So when you push it down, the water actually goes up here. And then there's a nozzle here that you drink out of. Now it's just filtering the water. And usually in the mountains, I find good streams like these. officially entered the glacier zone. I have to cross this to go over up on the trail, go over this hill, go over that other hill, and then hopefully that's Manaslu. I don't know how far, but we're fairly close because I don't see Manaslu anymore. I just see this mountain behind, in front of it, and then I hope it's Manaslu from there. So far, so good though. It's been a steady incline for sure, like I said in the beginning. A lot of switchbacks. It was no joke, but the entire time we had a view, I had a view of uh, that lake that I was at yesterday. So I'm gonna put my camera down, try to figure out how to get over this thing to get over that mountain and that hill. So 
Probably not making sense right now. The air is so thin up here. I'm trying to catch my breath, really. So if I'm not making sense, editing RJ, do your thing and make it make sense, you know? <laughs> gotta watch out for gaps though and that you don't sink in right to the bottom I think I'm almost there man she was really steep it makes sense because I'm making a 1500 meter plus ascend and it was challenging man I don't even know what I'm saying 4900 meters I just gotta make sure I don't slip and I think that's it right there holy what a day Just made it to the top. Holy, I don't know how long it took me to get here. Up to 8.30. It's just before 12.30 right now. So it's about four hours. It took four hours to get here. I'm out of water. It doesn't even matter. I'm just stoked to be here. Look at this place, man. I'm just gonna catch my breath for a bit and then soak this all in because it's so beautiful here, but it's so damn cold. Cold. Oh my hands. Been here for a good 20 minutes, and I'm gonna head down now. Overall, it's epic being here. Manassas Base Camp. Check. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe I did all of this. All the switchbacks, the hills. This incline alone, just going down, it just made me realize every time I'm, I do multi-day treks like this, I say to myself, I ask myself, why do I do this? Look at this. And that's what's going through my head as I'm going down. And also, aside from the fact that, you know, it was really beautiful up there, and that was definitely a once-in-a-lifetime experience, I'm still thinking about all of these switchbacks. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. Comment down below. Give me the thumbs up emoji if you guys are proud of your boy. Actually, do it right now. Do a thumbs up emoji. Comment that down below right now, you know, to show that you're proud of me because uh, I'm definitely proud of me for doing all of this. I'm gonna enjoy this view. I'm gonna order some dinner 
and then I'm just gonna relax for the rest of the evening. I'm most likely just gonna go to sleep because tomorrow is another, I wouldn't say long day. Tomorrow I'm going to Fungeng Gompa, I think it's how you pronounce it. And it's not as high as Manaslu. Manaslu is about 4,900 meters, whereas Fungeng Gompa, I believe it's just over 4,000 meters, but still, it's still quite the elevation gain. I think it's just about over 700 meters. So I want to make sure I'm well rested for the night just because today was definitely a long day and yeah overall great day it was nice to see Manaslu base camp even just for like a good 5-10 minutes because it was so cold up there but uh, overall great day I hope I well not hope I know you guys enjoyed this video so hit that like button down below and subscribe to my channel hit that subscribe button too. Subscribe to my channel, be a part of the YouTube fam if you're not a part of my YouTube family yet. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.